In computer science, amortized analysis is a method for analyzing a given algorithm's time complexity, or how much of a resource, especially time or memory in the context of computer programs, it takes to execute. The motivation for amortized analysis is that looking at the worst case run time per operation can be too pessimistic. While certain operations for a given algorithm may have a significant cost in resources, other operations may not be as costly. Immortized analysis considers both the costly and less costly operations together over the whole series of operations of the algorithm. This may include accounting for different types of input, length of the input, and other factors that affect its performance. History Immortized analysis initially emerged from a method called aggregate analysis, which is now subsumed by amortized analysis. However, the technique was first formally introduced by Robert Tarjan in his 1985 paper Amortized Computational Complexity, which addressed the need for more useful form of analysis than the common probabilistic methods used. Immortization was initially used for very specific types of algorithms, particularly those involving binary trees and union operations. However, it is now ubiquitous and comes into play when analyzing many other algorithms as well. Method The method requires knowledge of which series of operations are possible. This is most commonly the case with data structures, which have state that persists between operations. The basic idea is that a worst-case operation can alter the state in such a way that the worst case cannot occur again for a long time. Thus, amortizing its cost. There are generally three methods for performing amortized analysis. The aggregate method, the accounting method, and the potential method. All of these give the same answers, and their usage difference is primarily circumstantial and due to individual preference. Aggregate analysis determines the upper bound T on the total cost of a sequence of N operations, then calculates the amortized cost to be T N. The accounting method determines the individual cost of each operation combining its immediate execution time and its influence on the running time of future operations. Usually, many short-running operations accumulate a debt of unfavorable state in small increments, while rare long-running operations decrease it drastically. The potential method is like the accounting method, but overcharges operations early to compensate for undercharges later. Examples Dynamic array Consider a dynamic array that grows in size as more elements are added to it such as an array list in Java. If we started out with a dynamic array of size 4, it would take constant time to push four elements onto it. Yet pushing a fifth element onto that array would take longer as the array would have to create a new array of double the current size, copy the old elements onto the new array, and then add the new element. The next three push operations would similarly take constant time, and then the subsequent addition would require another slow doubling of the array size. In general if we consider an arbitrary number of pushes n to an array of size n, we notice that push operations take constant time except for the last one which takes o time to perform the size doubling operation. Q. Let's look at a Ruby implementation of a Q, a FIFO data structure. Class Q definitionalize at input equals at output equals n def in Q at input less than less than element n def dec Q if at output dot empty, while at input dot any, at output less than less than at input dot pop and end at output dot pop and end the in Q operation just pushes an element onto the input array. This operation does not depend on the lengths of either input or output and therefore runs in constant time. However, the DEQ operation is more complicated. If the output array already has some elements in it, then DEQ runs in constant time. Otherwise, DEQ takes O time to add all the elements onto the output array from the input array, where N is the current length of the input array. After copying N elements from input, we can perform N DEQ operations, each taking constant time, before the output array is empty again. 
Thus, we can perform a sequence of NDEQ operations in only O time, which implies that the amortized time of each DEQ operation is O. Alternatively, we can charge the cost of copying any item from the input array to the output array to the earlier in Q operation for that item. This charging scheme doubles the amortized time for in Q, but reduces the amortized time for DEQ to O. Common use in common usage, an amortized algorithm is one that an amortized analysis has shown to perform well. Online algorithms commonly use amortized analysis.